Hello traders, welcome in our daily stock discussion. In this video, we will talk about the top 5 blue chip stocks that you had requested in our Facebook fan page for me to discuss and to analyze so that you will have a very good uh, investment decisions that you will make whether it is your buying or your selling uh, decisions or it is a time to buy na ba kasi napapanahon na rin because of our index is heavily battered because of the NCOV or yung COVID-19 na outbreak no? and especially the President Duterte has already declared code red no? so for the next few weeks or next week check natin kung ano yung magiging market reaction but if you will ask for my opinion sa tingin ko medyo matagal-tagal pa to bago maayos siguro it will takes a few months like 4-5 months so antay-antay natin kung kung magkakaroon na ba ng vaccine by the month of August, September or October kasi hindi naman siya ganun kadaling gawin so for the near term or the short term we will expect a volatility and bear will dominate the bull market so let's get started no so and dami yung magagandang uh, request dito and i saw the Jollibee talagang namamayag pag si Jollibee no so let's have a look for the Jollibee so ayan so this is the chart of Jollibee but before we discuss the chart let's have a quick recap on what's going on with Jollibee no so last few weeks ago I already posted a video about Jollibee kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ito panoorin nyo JFCQ for earning is out it is good time to buy na ba sabi ko and just to recap no uh, Jollibee uh, inamin naman nila na talagang nahihirapan sila because of the 2019 na uh, earnings nila because of smash burger losing money the the cbtl or coffee bean is losing money team hoan also is losing money then itong isa ding itong si red ribbon still they are losing money with red ribbon no? so yung although kung i-expect natin na if the first quarter of the sec or the second quarter of 2020 will looks good hindi yan kaagad-agad na magkakaroon ng reversal. So expect expectation natin for a turnaround might be next year, no? So they have one more year to deliver the expected results or the expected earnings that the shareholder wants or the investors wants, no? Kasi yan yung pinaka major impact nila at the same time if you all know, alam ko is 8% of the total stores of Jollibee is nasa China and tamang-tama din na impacted din yung operations ni ng Jollibee because of course kasi merong COVID-19 virus uh, same as well with airline, tourism di ba? May, may, may nakita ako dito sa ano ninyo eh, sa request ninyo may nag-request ng Bloom so ito, parehas lang din yan na impacted din sila sa tourism, sa uh, airline company mall and of course food and services no so yan yung pinaka bottom line or the main context of Jollibee kung bakit merong ganito so as you can see on the chart perspective pag-usapan natin it bounced back from the 165 level and it reached the resistance of 183 level closing the gap ito kung titingnan niyo na maigi as i always uh, discuss with you kapag nagte-trade kayo ng closing the gap Pag na-hit na tong lower resistive box dito, dapat masaya ka na kasi rarely lang yan na mag-close above the higher resistive box. So, as you can see, tamang-tama din sa resistance, nag-retrace na siya. So, if the story will, will remain as is, di ba, kung ano yung mga nangyayari kay Jollibee, the most cheapest price that we could buy is at around 165 or 160 level. And, pinaka pwede natin kung mag-retrace siya at 150 level, very good. Again, for investors' perspective to na, again, nakikita nyo na yung pitfall or yung pinaka uh, draw, drawbacks ni Jollibee is the Smash Burger, the CBTL, and the Team Ho one. Especially with the CBTL, yan yung inaano nila ina for the first for the first and second quarter of 2020 na dapat mag turn around so if you are truly believing with Jollibee's vision na kaya nilang i-turn around then 
good time to buy is around 160 or etong 172 so please don't uh, please don't chase prices no kasi downtrend to and still uh, mas maganda if Jollibee will undergo some sort of sideways or some sort uh, uh, consolidation muna so that we will have to justify kung saan ba talaga yung strong support niya and also strong resistance so with that respect babalikan natin ito for the near future like siguro after one month or two months kung saan ba siya mag create ng base katulad nito may nakikreate na base tapos eventually nag nag uh, nag breakdown no so for now if you are investor buy conservatively at price point of 160 per share kung kaya ninyo at mas maganda kung 150 per share or kung hindi kaya you might buy at around 172 or almost below 200 percent 200 pesos per share okay na yun, no so next thing that we will talk about uh, I think Ayala Land Ayala Land naman uh, in contrast with Jollibee as I review their finances or balance sheet kanina is very very good merong net income increasing and the EPS growth is increasing the problem with Ayala Land lang is na nadadamay lang siya sa market sentiment of course we all know na meron tayong mga foreign investors and yung mga foreign investors na yan kapag ka nakakarinig ng mga uncertainties like yung mga taal eruption or etong COVID-19 eh they want to place their money on the safest asset no or like gold or like uh, sa mga sa mga cryptocurrency or etc no so ang tendency if they sell their shares babagsak ang price no then at the same time yung ibang mga Pilipino investors at the same time kapag nakikita mo babagsak yung presyo nagpapanik na rin and they and they out of fear nagpapanik selling na rin which causes the stock to drive more lower no so again the financials of the Ayala Land is very very good but still the the stock price now is so super super undervalued so as you can see uh, pwede kang bumili dito na at 40 pesos per share sobrang mura na to and then ang pinaka target prices mo is dito 42 pesos and as you can see merong gap down no ayan no may gap down dito may gap down dito ulit sa pangalawang araw ayan oops merong gap down ulit dito so observe if eto katulad nito nag break out dito hindi tumuloy kapag ka bumili ka somewhere here ang pinaka target price mo kagad itong lower resistance box which is pag nangyari yan dapat masaya ka na kasi tingnan mo ito meron ka ng 5 almost 5% gain no so ganun lang siya ito kagad ang lower resistance box ang pinaka target price mo pag mag close the gap ngayon ang pinaka pwede mong i-target price kapag ka quick quicky quicky trader ka no quick trade lang is etong price point level at around 41.6 no or kung kaya is 42 pesos per share and if eto kunwari bumagsak nag breakdown ang pinaka pwede mong target price this is etong uh, lower resistance box but if you are an investor no you can buy at around 40 pesos per share or lower okay na yan uh, good good point na yan kasi as you can see again the net income of Ayala Land compared to Jollibee mas maganda naman ang net income niya with the EPS growth so if you are if you are aiming for stability and if you are aiming for uh, non-volatile stock so maganda itong si Ayala Land na pumuesto ka na dito no so ayan as you can see meron na na-establish na around support something at 38 pesos per share no so let's see ayan somewhere here ayan 30, 38 pesos per share somewhere here then next support is at around 36 pesos per share for me if tatanungin mo ko it is a very very cheap na to buy at at this price point level if the fundamentals has have not changed no so maganda ng mag-accumulate ka pa unti-unti pero wag all-in kasi you might 
have a opportunity pa to buy Ayala land at lower price if the NCOV virus will get much worse no so hindi natin alam so kapag uh, naging mas malala pa yung news or yung market sentiment it might break down the 40 pesos level per share and challenge the 38 pesos level per share and the 36 pesos per share pero at this price point in time sobra sobrang cheap na niya and if you want and if you plan to hold it for the long term 5 10 years ago 5 or 10 years from now babalikan niyo yung discussion natin dito and you would be happy that you had buy Ayala land at very cheap price and hold it for a longer period of time no so next thing na pag-uusapan natin is I think MBT no sa MBT naman as as I observed yung earnings nila parehas din sila kay Ayala land earnings are getting good no is growing and increasing at, as well as the EPS per share but eventually nadadamay lang din to because of the NCOV virus no so pinaka cheapest price na pwede mong bilhin is around 50 pesos per share or etong 46 pesos per share no so pagka nakakakita ka ng ganto MBT uh, ang unang titingnan natin si BDO if BDO is resilient ba sa nangyayaring NCOV so as you can see medyo may pagbagsak din na nangyari kay BDO from here isukatin natin na from here to here at around 18% na yung losses niya but quickly naka-recover siya so talagang resilient si uh, MC video but kay MBT let's see kung magkano yung ibinagsak niya no so uh, again if you are buying this kind of blue chip you are aiming for stability ah you are not aiming for growth so at all, almost the same lang so let's see kung mag ano to ah mag magba bounce back pero i i am not quite confident to trade with MBT or to enter at, at, at this point in time no or to invest kasi I want to see a clearer picture of MBT na dapat mag consolidate muna yan pwede yung dito mag consolidate yan no magsa sideways yan before magkaroon ng established na support or resistance before we uh, decide when to buy kasi pagka ganito medyo hindi ka pa sigurado kung saan talaga yung magiging strongest support nya no as you will observe the longer time frame check natin kung meron pa bang uh, magiging pinanghahawakan na support so eto 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 so as you can see merong short term na support dito ayan no eto dito resistance nya dito pero dun sa kabila is support nya no so let me show you. Ito. Resistance siya somewhere here. Resistance din siya somewhere here. Uh, resistance then naging previous resistance. Naging support na. So, talagang merong short term support dito. So, failure to hold this level. It might have this top to to challenge the 51 pesos level per share. So, at this point in time, uh, watch out lang. So, bantay-bantay lang kung ano yung magiging price reaction. Kasi, medyo hindi tayo pa confident na pumasok dito no kasi hindi pa nag establish ng base so next thing ano pa bang stock na pag-uusapan natin MPI okay MPI naman uh, is still heavily battered din tong stocks na to basically because of the concessionary issue no kung babalikan ninyo itong ito naging downtrend dito is just because of the con water concessioner issue na onerous daw according to the President Duterte so wala pang linaw about the about those uh, agreement no or water ag concessioner agreement no so still there are some sort of uncertainties between the government and the Manila water or or Manila water and the Manila which is Manila si MPI is merong portion of it kay Manila then as well as DMC kaya nga itong tatlong stock na to kapag uh, bumagsak si MWC damay-damay din pati si DMC at MPI nung medyo nagkakaroon ng reversal itong si MWC dumad sumusunod naman sa galaw si MPI and the, at the same time DMC but kung sumabay man sila sa galaw konti lang kasi uh, may nila is just a portion of MPI business kasi MPI as you know sila ang may hawak ng uh, tollway system mga hospital diba? so so let's get to look about the chart naman so as you can see, merong short-term resistance at around 3.8 per 
pesos per share then short term uh, support at 3.1 pesos per share so as you can see nung nagkaroon ng ito itong pinaka steep na downward movement because of the water concession issue nag bounce back siya so kung nakabili ka somewhere here or nag enter ka within this uh, price point level at na sold mo siya dito approximately may 21% ka na I guess ayan no so na hold mo lang siya ng for about 2 to 3 weeks na may 21% ka na in this setup naman in this scenario as you can see breaking out the MA9 MA20 at the same time the 3.1 pesos per share tapos near approaching the 3.8 pesos per share pwedeng mag take profit na mga tao dito as you can see uh, near approaching na rin siya sa MA100 no so let's see if mauuntog ba to or mabubutas niya so but for me uh, i think it will retrace kasi medyo pangit pa ang market sentiment eh, no so uh, if you want to buy MPI ang pinaka magandang price point to buy is around 3.13 or etong 3 pesos per share ay sorry 2.6 pesos per share so dito or dito yung pinaka cheapest price point level na mabibili nyo and please again hold it for a long term kasi kung papansin ninyo there are a lot of regulatory issues na iniimpose ng President Duterte against MPI no magsimula sa ilaw, kuryente, tubig, tollway so pagka may mga ganitong uh, uh, regulatory issues highly affected yung mga ganitong klaseng business so let's see kung after yung term ni President Duterte kung ano yung magiging uh, kalalabasan nito that's the time we can decide uh, kung kung magkakaroon ba ng turn around with this business so but for now kung gusto yung bumili and the MPI is still in a good shape pa naman especially with their earnings net income di ba and at the same time yung EPS growth nila ma maganda naman so time will come na makakabawi itong si MPI but do not expect na makakabawi ito kasi of above all blue chip ito yung pinakakulel at kung bumawi yung iba nakabawi na siya huli yan makakabawi so yun yung expectation natin pagka pagdating kay MPI at least you know what to expect in the near future para at the same time hindi kayo ma manghihinayang or mawawalan ng pag-asa kasi yun yung pinakagalawan ni MPI eh, for the past few years no umangat yung ibang kasama niya sa blue chip siya naman na eh, iwan pero eventually aangat siya no so next for the last talk na we will discuss i think uh etong ABS meron na tayong na discuss na to no ABS so tingin ko bloom na lang no para maiba naman yung sector no so bloom uh Ayan, as you can see, Bloom make a downtrend and break out, break down the 7.6 level support. Then, kahit pa paano, nag-bounce back. So, ito naman si Bloom, uh, highly affected to because of the tourism issue kasi uh, because of the NCOV virus. No? So, syempre, yung tourism apektado sila. At the same time, ang alam ko, merong pang mga pogo issue. No? So, there are some sort of uncertainty for now please avoid this stock highly avoid this stock kasi pabagsak pa siya eh. hindi pa siya nakahanap ng uh, strong base no kung magkakaroon man ng strong base maari dito yan so paano ba yung setup ng base so maaring it will go up and down dito sa range na to dito sa drawing nating darvas pwedeng up down up down up pwedeng umangat, break out, or break down lalo. So, syempre, titingnan natin kung ano yung magiging setup nyan. But for now, please avoid this stock. Pero kung gusto yung laruin, pwede pa hanggat hindi pa lumalabas yung yung fourth quarter earnings nila. Kasi, syempre, of course, parang expected na natin na may impact sila. Kasi, they are on tourism business. They are on uh, ganitong kind of business. So, tapos may ganitong issue and cob so they will be highly impacted no so pagka for investor please avoid muna pero if you are a trader hanap ka lang ng good entry point and if there is reward if the reward will compensate the risk they why not diba enter the trade but for now 
Gaya nga nasabi ko, it should undergo a consolidation period before we will have to see a legit price base support. No? So that's it for now. I hope you learned something in this video and I hope this helped you in making your investment decisions so that you will prosper and you will make more money in this year 2020. God bless us all and bye-bye.